Question number four, part A. Sea water contains approximately 3% sodium chloride. Describe how sodium chloride is obtained from sea water. So we can have several ways we can collect uh, sea water. We can say industrial. So industrial, uh, so sea water is collected in a pod. Is collected in a pod uh, that is uh, we can say shallow pod pod uh, and allowed to evaporate uh, over the sunlight So once it evaporates, we have uh, uh, the saturated salt. So saturated is allowed to cool. Uh, saturated uh, salt, salt solution is allowed to cool to form crystals. So that is one method. Uh, the other one is laboratory. So laboratory method, we have a uh, uh, place uh, sea water in a glass beaker. Uh, once you do that, uh, heat the, the water to saturation heat the water to saturation heat the water to saturation allow the saturated solution to cool to form crystals allow the saturated solution to cool and form crystals uh, the other method is evaporation method evaporation method uh, so you, evaporation you can say heat the sea water to dryness uh, that is uh, to dryness uh, sodium chloride residue remains uh, sodium chloride residue remains so generally uh, you just describe one it's okay uh, but in uh, in conclusion it's just that you use uh, heating and evaporation so that you have uh, you form crystals once you get a saturated uh, salt solution so that's how you answer that let's go to part b uh, part b we have uh, the solubility of sodium chloride is 36.2 grams in 100 grams of water at room temperature. Determine the concentration in moles per liter of a saturated aqueous solution, uh, so aqueous sodium chloride at room temperature. So we have the formula for sodium is 23 chloride. Uh, chlorine is 35.5. Density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube. Uh, so we are given 36.2 dissolved in 100 grams. So you can say that 6.2 is uh, goes, uh, so, uh, that is dissolved in 100 grams. So because one liter has uh, 1,000 grams, so how, how, how many 
our grams will be there so we can say well, at the grams equals to x so it is 3.36.2 uh, uh, you divide you multiply by a thousand and you divide by a hundred and you will be able to get 362 grams uh, of sodium chloride of sodium chloride the, so the relative formula mass relative formula mass of sodium chloride uh, uh, we have sodium we are given sodium is equals to uh, sodium we are given it is 23 uh, plus uh, chlorine which is uh, 35.5 35 35.5 and that should give you 58.5 so once you get the uh, relative formula mass uh, as you saw you say moles uh, of sodium chloride uh, in uh, 1000 centimeter cube so you say it is 3.36 you divide by the relative formula mass which is 58.5 and that should give you 6.188 uh, uh, moles per liter so uh, or you can say moles per dm cubed so that is uh, that is how you work it out and you get yourself two marks uh, but say ammonia is highly soluble in water explain how aqueous ammonia is prepared starting with ammonia gas so if you have ammonia gas all what you need to do is to direct it to uh, uh, to direct it into a trough using a funnel and it will dissolve in water so forming uh, um, ammonia that is a uh, 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 that is explain how aqueous ammonia so it will form a solution of um, ammonia so, um, solution so you can describe it like uh, ammonia is directed uh, into trough uh, with water With water uh, using an, an inverted funnel using an inverted funnel uh, so the funnel increases the funnel increases uh, the surface area the surface area for ammonia absorption area for ammonia gas absorption Uh, and uh, prevent sucking back back so that's how you form ammonia solution or aqueous ammonia uh, alternatively uh, you can make a diagram so we can start by we can start by drawing uh, the trough uh, so let's correct that so you can say you draw a trough like that uh, we have that uh, we have that uh, so that's a trough then you can have a funnel uh, this is a funnel uh, from there uh, so we have uh, there it comes down here like that uh, then we have uh, this is water uh, no not like that uh, this is uh, water uh, 
so we have water uh, so we can say in here we have ammonia gas uh, this is water so when ammonia get into contact with water it dissolves uh, this is a trough uh, let's call it that trough and uh, this is a funnel you can say that this is the funnel to increase the surface area so with, with the diagram you still get uh, two marks if you describe it uh, the way i've done up there then you still get two marks any can do so let's go to the next part uh roman number two on the axis provided sketch a cup showing how solubility of ammonia gas varies with the temperature so the solubility of uh, ammonia decreases as temperature arises. Uh, so using the axis, it means the solubility is high when the temperature is low and it decreases as the temperature uh, rises. So that is how you, 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 you make, uh, you show that uh, the solubility of ammonia gas varies with temperature. When the temperature is high, the solubility is low. When the temperature is low, the solubility is high. So you get one mark. Uh, Roman number three, give a reason for the S, for the shape of the graph. So from previous uh, part, you can see the graph is curved uh, or the solubility uh, decreases with increase in temperature. And therefore we say solubility decreases with temperature. We say solubility Solubility decreases with temperature. As we have seen uh, from the graph, uh, this is be because now we can say because particles, because uh, particles, uh, I would say ammonia particles. particles uh, gain energy and escape uh, so that's how you answer that and you'll be able to get a mark so let's go to part d part d we have water hardness is due to the presence of magnesium and calcium ions explain how these ions get into uh, sources of water so what happens is the carbon uh, so carbon 4 oxide dissolve in lain water to form weak carbonic acid carbonic acid react with carbonate rocks uh, containing calcium and magnesium uh, that is how they get in so you can say uh, carbon uh, for acid dissolves this is acid uh, dissolves in rainwater to form weak carbonic acid uh, weak carbonic acid With carbonic acid uh, so carbonic acid acid carbonic acid react with carbonate rocks carbonate rocks uh, containing calcium and magnesium containing uh, calcium and uh, calcium and magnesium calcium and magnesium uh, that should be calcium and magnesium so that is how uh, calcium 
and magnesium ions get into uh, water uh, and make it hard, hard water. So that is uh, the how you describe that and you'll be able to get two marks.